All right, so the time has come for us to take down the fifth and final stage for the Furious Charge breaking the Siege event. This is versus Tech, and unlike the last couple of videos where we just brought two attack all units and all supports, this time we're gonna go with a, I guess, slightly more traditional team with the dual LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegetas, and then a bunch of uh, Int Pure Saiyans units. Oh, and also Int Gogeta, who obviously is not Pure Saiyans, but can still provide a bit of extra damage. Now, I have seen people clear this with uh, two EZ8 Int Raditzes. Is that how you say it? Raditzes? Anyways, with Int Raditz, I've seen it done before, so if you guys don't have LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, then that's definitely worth a shot but uh, I feel like it's more fun to use the LR Vegeta. So that's the team, and for the items, instead of a Balma and a Nuking item, this time we have the Future Balma, as well as this other Balma item, which also increases attack. So that is the setup. Um, I think it's gonna go well, but I haven't really used this team, so I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna work, but Let's try our best. So with that said, here we go. Last stage, guys. Fifth and final stage. The series will be officially over after we clear this. And on the first rotation, it looks like we have the uh, Int UI Goku, Kid Goku, and Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Now, obviously, we want to make sure that we get both of the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegetas on rotation when we get to the final phase, because we only get one turn, and we want to be able to pop uh, both active skills, both attack all active skills, on that phase. So, um, I guess we'll just go with it for now, but I'm going to have to like keep track of things as we go along. And there is a good chance that I screw this up. So, I mean, fingers crossed, hopefully I don't, because I don't want to waste time, but there is a distinct possibility. You guys know I'm really bad with mental math and you know in this case I do have to do some like mental calculations to make sure I get the rotations right so uh, we'll see what happens we'll see what happens all right so it looks like we're doing some good damage here obviously these enemies on the first phase and the second phase are really weak so we should be one-shotting them the main issue would be I guess just like getting supers off um, should I keep the Vegeta's together or should I separate them? Okay, let's, let's separate them for now. We'll obviously get them together a little bit closer to the end. And I think if I want to have both Vegeta's on the first rotation, or on the same rotation rather, um, by the end, we'll have to probably take a Vegeta out of rotation near the end of the third phase. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. Or maybe I'm just thinking ahead too too far right now. We're gonna let it play out first, see how things go on the second and third phases, and then go from there. All right, here we go. Okay, so now we're moving on. And uh, let's see. Let's throw Gogeta at the end, just cause he's not really doing as much damage. And then we'll attack with Kid Goku, who should be one-shotting. This guy should be one-shotting as well. And let's see how much damage Gogeta actually does. As you guys know, the weakness for the event is Pure Saiyan, so any non-Pure Saiyan units are not going to be hitting that hard. But Gogeta just generally hits pretty hard. So um, I think at this point, he should still be one-shotting these guys. That's a good attack stat. Good attack stat, let's see. Uh, oh. Wait, how, how, how much damage is that? I, I saw 6 mil, but I think I might have made a mistake, because 6 mil just seems kind of crazy. Either way, he was able to one-shot one of the guys, and then the additional normal wasn't able to, but... Oh, wow. Okay, these guys actually have more HP than I thought. So they probably have somewhere around like 2.5 mil to 3 mil, even on the first and second turns. Alright, good to know. 
Okay, so now we got the active heal, obviously saving that until much later. Um, so let's attack with the Kid Goku first. Uh, SSB Vegeta, I think I'll actually target the second guy. And then we'll keep attacking with uh, Bardock. So my hope is that, because I don't think Goku is actually going to be able to one-shot the enemy now. So he does a little bit of damage. Okay, and then Vegeta kills the second guy. And then comes back and kills the other guy with the additional. Or maybe Bardock kills the other guy that's already like partially dead. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, there we go. So now there are three enemies left. Uh, let me think. Should I take the Vegeta out now? Is the question. So if we take him out right now, he's not going to be on the next rotation. Or the rotation after that. He'll be back on the rotation after the next one. I don't know if I'm... <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense right now to you guys. In my mind, I'm kind of making sense. So I guess that's all that matters. Um... Okay, okay, so let's do it like this. We'll attack with uh, uh, LR Super Saiyan Goku, and then SSB Vegeta. We're taking out of rotation. I think it's going to be fine. Although I'm a little bit worried. I'm a little bit worried. Now, as you can tell, right, we're also taking a lot more time than we normally do, just because um, we're not using like an attack all unit for every single turn to clear everyone. Yo! Okay, hold up. Gogeta's hitting really hard. Gogeta is hitting really, really hard. Holy crap. Okay. Um. Alright, alright. So. Let's play this right. Let me see. Uh. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize Gogeta was going to hit that hard. Because I was like, you know, he's not pure Saiyans, right? So, like, he should be doing a lot less damage. But he's actually, like... He's been mad impressive, guys. That's crazy. So yeah, make sure to bring Gogeta if you have him, because you can clearly do some good things, man. You can clearly do some really good things. Yo, you know what I forgot? I forgot to pop the items. I haven't used like a single attack item yet. I hope it doesn't come back to bite me, man. I'm a little bit nervous though, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that's dead. One more. Okay, no additional there. That's okay, I think. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, um... Let me think. Okay, so let me let me pop the Bulma. Let me pop the other Bulma. There we go, so we got the double Bulmas. And then uh, Gogeta, I think, will finish off one of these guys for full health. So there we go. And then we can... I know attack this guy with Goku. And then we also got a super with uh, Bardock. Oh yeah, we got this. Okay. <laughs> we got this. Look at that. 4.2 mil. Are you serious? Oh, he's dead. 7.3 mil from Goku. Alright, so he's dead too. And if we don't get an additional here, then Bardock should finish off anyways. There we go. Okay, we got this. We got this. Easy, easy. Now on the last turn, we got those two additional, or not additionals, we got the two uh, active skills. And we already got the items active, so I don't have to pop anything here. Let's just use the active skill and see what happens. So this is my Vegeta. He is rainbowed, max links, all that good stuff. So it should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. Let's see it. Okay, so I thought, I thought that we needed both Vegetas on the first, on the same rotation to get two active skills. I have clearly underestimated Vegeta. <laughs> Yo, Vegeta, my bad. <laughs> my bad. He hits plenty hard. Just the one. Just the one Vegeta hits plenty hard. So you don't need two SSB Vegetas. Obviously having two SSB Vegetas gives you a higher chance of having one of them on rotation. Um, you know, when you get to that final phase, right? You get to the last turn. So you really didn't need to do any of this like calculation stuff I was doing in my mind, man. Like that was stupid. I was being dumb. Uh, either way, we, we beat it. 
We beat it. That's that's the fifth and final stage. Um, yeah, okay. So if you guys don't have a SSB Vegeta of your own, you can also just use a friend, right? And then for the rest of your team, just bring in pure Saiyans that do good damage. Um, maybe you can attack multiple times. Like uh, Int Broly, for example, might be good, maybe. Although he's not in either category that Vegeta leads, so maybe not. But um, yeah, that was that was surprising. I underestimated Int LR Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta's active skill by quite a bit, man. I really thought it was going to do like maybe 4 million damage or so, maybe 4 or 5, but I didn't think it was going to be enough to actually solo the last stage, and I was very wrong. He hit much harder than uh i expected you know i think the last guys like on the last stage they have about 8 million hp so he hit for 14 almost double that up so yeah there you go and that's gonna do it guys that is your furious charge breaking the siege series all five videos are now live on the channel so if you guys need help with any of these uh different stages Watch those videos, hopefully it can give you some inspiration, give you some ideas about what you can do with your teams. And uh, I wish you guys the best of luck. Uh, part 2 LR is on the way very soon, so stay tuned for some summons, obviously, for, for that. But uh, until then, yo, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.